Hi everybody, this is uh, Tony Thomas once again and um, I wanted to share a video with you this time about some of my Ableton productivity tips and secrets. Well, they're not really secrets. I know a lot of people probably know some of these tricks, so uh, I'll share them with you. Uh, I try to keep my Ableton Live uh, organized. I use a lot of uh, uh, folders, as you can see here, to organize my uh, resources and files and so forth. And um, I also have done something else in plugins. Now, plugins, uh, my VST3s are set up in in uh, folders by the manufacturer's name. I also have the same thing going on with my uh, synthesizers, manufacturer name there, and also my effects. But I have also set up subfolders uh, in my VST directory and what I do is I populate those with shortcuts that go back to the original DLLs and that way I can create subgroups of uh, plugins by category like here are my ARP sequencers and chord programs um, my main effects here including all my wave stuff uh, I can get to them real easily uh, my main sense I have uh, one and two for those. I have a lot of synths as you can see. Uh, mastering tools, I use uh, those. Uh, melodic programs, pianos, uh, players, uh, samplers, sidechain and gating programs, etc. etc. And this makes it very easy for me to find things very quickly without having to figure out who the manufacturer is and I can really get to work. Now, I've taken that um, a step further and I've used my collections. I notice a lot of Ableton users don't even bother with using collections but um, I find them valuable and what I've done is set up all my favorites here also I have uh, favorite synths and samplers that I use here, uh, instrument racks, drum racks, my favorite effects, my favorite sampler sounds, most of those are custom sounds, melodic loops that I uh, play around with, and drum loops. And I found these are tremendously helpful, uh, you know, when starting a new project and getting to work right away. And, you know, maybe you'll, you'd like to try something similar. So I thought I would share this with you. And if you like this video, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos like this. And I look forward to uh, talking to you again soon. You take care and you have a wonderful day.